Hello everyone, I'm Evie Does Gaming, and welcome to part 4 of the School of Dragons playthrough slash walkthrough. Where we left off last time was my dragon is just about to be leveled up. I just have to talk to Hiccup, and then we'll see what happens then. And that stupid quest keeps popping up. Ugh, I hate that. Alright, talk to Hiccup. Wow, you're... you're Growing a close bond with your dragon. I think Sea Shocker is ready to grow older. Go to the hatchery and stand in front of the dragon hearth. It's the pool of lava. Your dragon will use that heat to shed skin and grow. You will be able to customize your dragon a little bit more. It's so exciting. You should get to it. Help your rank 5 dragon grow in the hatchery. Accept. And then we walk over to the hatchery and I get to level up my dragon. That's the exciting part. What kind of dragon? Oh, these are dragons. Being killed. Didn't see that part before. Wait, there's one where the guy's riding on a dragon. Yep. I think they actually had a pick. I don't know. I got sidetracked. <laughs> Silly me. No, I'm not doing that quest quite yet. I'm going to level up my dragon first. Is your dragon ready to grow? No, not yet. See, there is actually an egg sticking out of there. I don't know why, but there is. And apparently that's that dude's dragon, I think. There, look at that. Here's my dragon. Sea Shocker. Stage 2, which is the teen stage, and that can't be a mechanic, because, yeah. That's Toothless's saddle. It should be a picture of his saddle, at least. But, this is going to be him, in the teen stage. Nice blue. But I'm going to change this just a little bit, just because. Let's have it kind of look like a baby little. There, that looks perfect. All right, age up, and I got 50 Viking XP, 50 coins, 50 ultimate dragon training points, and 50 dragon XP. Your dragon is now big enough to ride on. Select the mount button to start riding and gliding around the world. And it's just showing off. Why are you showing off? And you can click the button, or you can press R on your keyboard. I have to do that. To do that. But now I can glide around the world. He can't wear a saddle quite yet, but it'll be soon. See, there is a bunch of dragons waiting. Look at that. Now I have a dragon I can glide on. Awesome. I'm going to talk to Gobber now. Meet Heather by the lab. My chocolate is stuck in the bottle. I poured it in these bottles a few months back, and now I can't seem to get them back out. Maybe Heather can help. Meet Heather by the lab. Now I can run on my dragon. I don't have to take so long, you know, running. So much faster. I can do that. Alright. Meet Heather. What can I do for you? Chocolate seems to get Gobber into a lot of trouble. We'll figure out how to get it out. Really, that matters. Seriously, I have to move because all this camera's looking at is his, <laughs> his butt. Or, if you want to be a little more mean, his ass. Check your field guide for more information about how to change things from liquids to solids. We'll need some chocolate to run some tests. Ask, fi ask Fish Legs if he has a spare. And now, oh my god, look at this! We found another flight mare. That's awesome. Look at that. And then his trainer is that person. I don't want to butcher his name. It's a member of the Flame Wings. Makes sense why that one is Red Wings. And now I get to glide down to fish legs. 
Oh man, I love this mug. Lightning comes from my dragon's wings. Oh, I love eating my chocolate from meat lug breathes fire on it. It melts all over the place. You can have my last piece of chocolate. You should ask the kids around school for more. Wart. Wart a hog or whatever. I think that's his name. And my dragon flute's not put in here. I love that. <coughs> oh, can I skin another friend request? Ember girl. Hold on, who's Ember girl? Whoever Ember girl is, Ember girl is. If, if that person's a YouTuber, I accepted your friend request. And for all the other people, I accepted their friend requests too. If you're a YouTuber, awesome. If you're not, that's fine too. Talk to this guy. Need some chocolate? Sure, don't eat it cold or you hurt your teeth. It's rock solid. <laughs> Collect chocolate from Clueless. See, this is the weird part. They literally have a person named Clueless. That's kind of mean. From my point of view. But, oh well. I think it's clueless. Let me talk to you. Huh, chocolate? I think I have some around somewhere. You can have it. It's a little sticky since it's been in my warm pocket all day. Ugh, you had to say that, dude. Collect chocolate from Speedifist. That's cool. Speedifist? Oh, Speedifist! Speedifist, or whatever, is the one right by Thunder Run. Okay. So I have to talk to him. Without going to Thunder Run. But you can have this chunk. Chocolate tastes so good it just melts in your mouth. Bring the materials you've collected to the lab. We'll use the information you've gathered to make a hypothesis. Bum. Just gliding over there, do not giving a crap. Alright, yeah. She's my hypothesis. Think we should make vanilla popsicle instead. Think by cooling the chocolate we'll be able to get it out. Some things get smaller when they're cooled down. Chocolate is stuck in the bottle forever. Applying heat to the chocolate will be able to get it out of the bottle and use it to make chocolate molds. Hmm. That's what this one. Nice. Okay, let's get on with the experiment. Enter the lab and click on the apparatus to get started. Okay, I'm not not quite, okay? Not yet. I have another clan to look at. I want to go to the lab. That question must always be there. I'm sorry if you hear some weird noises. I'm quite thirsty again. So I'm recording most of these on the same day. Have your dragon heat the chocolate. Observe and record the journal. Self-helping. You are not doing shit. Oh fuck, he ain't doing shit. Okay, the only annoying part about the lab is every dragon sounds like toothless. They need to fix that. Cool the liquid chocolate with ice. Do this, you click on the ice cube, and here's where this comes in. And then you click underneath it. I took the axe. Going right back. That is awesome. Add water to the chocolate. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. What you have to do? Oh, that's all you have to do, really? 
using the pastel action makes it okay. The pastel action here, I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it because it only pops up how to do it just a couple times and you aren't told initially how to do it. How you do it is you click on the pastel action from the bowl and then you hold down left mouse and you rapidly whip your mouse. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Gosh dang it. Okay, that was pretty crappy, but I was po I probably was supposed to melt that. Oops. Oh well. Better luck next time. You proved your hypothesis to be false. Raising and lowering the temperature can change the state, but the effects are and the effects are reversible. I think God will be excited to find out. No, thank you. I'm not playing Alchemy Adventure yet. Talk to Gobber and Burke. Why can't I talk to him in the hatchery? Fine. It was not a whispering death. Awesome. Wait, what was kind of driving with that? I saw a weird bit. Could be different type of dragon. Hmm. Yeah, the wings over there. I think those might be scroll wings, but oh well. Down and now we go to Burke. This is the only place that you guys have not seen me. You can drive up here. Unless you can fly, then you just go whoop tail up. Ah, dang it. <sighs> Probably should jump over right there. There we go. Okay, before I go talk to Gobber, there's a really quick way to level up your dragons that I found out. I'm going to share the secret. Well, unless everybody else knows about it since what I found out. I'm going to call it my secret to everyone that's watching this video. If you fire on all of the... Damn it, I had this. If you fire on all of these little... Heat... I don't know what they are, but if you fire at all of them, and you go in a constant circle, see, this is well done, you've got them all, you will get dragon XP, and your dragon will level up faster. Faster than I can play Eel Roast. <laughs> Sadly. But if you do that enough, you'll have your dragon leveled up in no time. That's what I use to level up my dragons on my other account. Oh my god. Time to for me to get my delicious treat out of my bottle. This is a good day. There's somebody with the flight suit on. Congratulations! 300 dragon XP, 240 ultimate dragon training points, 25 coins, and 250 XP. I think both of us leveled. Yep. Both of us leveled up. Both me and my dragon leveled up from that and other things. That was a monstrous nightmare back there. So, once your dragon is level 6, you go to the shop. And you click on the dragon. You go to saddle. And you can buy a saddle, but I don't have enough coins to buy a saddle yet. Crap. Oh well. The novice saddles do just about nothing to improve your dragon's abilities, but Flightmare Saddle, the original Flightmare, the original, which looks so awesome. That's me. Once again, the eggs. I'm filming, well, filming, recording most of these on the same day, so that's why the eggs are still on sale consumables the stables stables this is what they were talking about for the stables is the boulder stable stoker and title so you get the three stables this one's for boulder class dragons actually it's for any dragon but boulder class dragons prefer it same with all the other ones they the types that the stable is prefer that stable but other dragons can go in there so you could have a stoker class and title stable you could have 